Hey everybody, it is Mark McDonald with First United Methodist Church of Batesville here for day two of week 11 in Experiencing God. Today we begin a two-part again where we have two, two days in a row that are very related to each other about the kingdom way, what the kingdom of God is really like. So today, as you get ready for this, I encourage you to go to your memory verse and spend some time with that and then begin your study. Today, we're talking about the kingdom of God. And uh, we're doing that all week long. The kingdom really is defined as an area or a territory ruled over or reigned over by a king or a queen. And so when you think of it that way, a kingdom is something that we've read about in the history books for many, many, many centuries. And kingdoms are temporary. And yet we're talking about God's kingdom, uh, what Jesus referred to as the kingdom of heaven a lot of times. And, and so it is different from the temporary nature of the kingdoms of the world. Now, worldly kingdoms, they're temporary, could be a couple hundred years, usually not. But a kingdom is usually much shorter, but it's still temporary when you think of the broad perspective of history. The kingdom of God, however, is very, very different. When Jesus talked about the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven, he talked about it how it was both now and yet to come. It was now and not yet, or it was seen and not yet seen. There was a mystery involved with that. It's hard to explain because, as Paul said, we, we only see it dimly now. Someday we'll see it fully, but now we can't really understand. Just like yesterday we talked about doctrines and how there are human attempt to explain something of God, understanding the kingdom of God is impossible to fully do. And so when Jesus talked about it, he talked about it so many times in parables. Now, parables are fascinating, and today in your study, you're going to have a chance to look at several parables that Jesus told that related to the kingdom of heaven, to what we are called to expect in God's kingdom. But here's the secret of our lesson today. As you read through this, I want you to be watching for the way in which these parables, Jesus' own teachings, teach us how to start living in God's kingdom right now even though it is not fully realized or fully understandable, as we start to look for the kingdom in the ways that Jesus taught us to look, we start to see signs all around us. And it changes our entire outlook on what it means to trust God. I hope you enjoy this lesson today, and we'll continue with tomorrow's lesson as we move from parables into even more understanding about how we live these in this kingdom step by step by starting with some of the small glimpses that we are given. Have a blessed day today, and of course, be a blessing today.